game plan is not only for the opponent that you have, but also for the fighter that you coach. With John Dotson, the game plan is to keep him within certain parameters, but then let him explore the space, as they say. I don't even do anything. When I find out I got to fight, they're like, John, you got to fight. Cool, we're going to work this day. Cool, we're going to work this move. Cool. That's basically how it goes for me. I don't really do too much game planning. I always focus on what I can do. I do a lot of studying on my opponent to make sure I can understand his strengths and weaknesses. And I always want to exploit his weaknesses more than I do his strengths. When we find out the opponent for John, I'll give him a few things to work on and the other coaches will give him a few things to work on based on the guy's tendencies. He does this, he does that. When he's in trouble, he does this. When he's winning, he does that. And then the rest of it is just letting John be creative, John flow, John be an artist. And he just explodes so quickly. John Dotson, John Jones, there's a couple of fighters that are really artistic fighters and if you try to put them in a box, like you have to do this at this time, they don't function very well. But if you say, you know, go out there and have a great time, but follow these parameters, that brings the best out. John's especially unique in that he can do things that other fighters can't do. Um, he can just fight real well with the basics. If you switch it up to something fancy, right back to basic stuff, he, he's able to do a lot of things because of how creative he is and how athletic he is. When they coach me, it's basically like them playing a video game. So they just go ahead and say whatever they want me to do, and I just go out and go do it. Like if they see and they say it instantly, I'll follow the combo before they finish it. He's hard, little John. Knocking out Daryl Montague, that's when they were telling me to go hook, slip hook, and to follow that straight left. Nine's gonna be there, blue's gonna be there. Pick up. And I came through with it. John Dobson by knockout! They know what combos I'm okay with and how quick I can adapt to them. And they just want me to cut certain angles and they just see my body flowing that way, they'll set yell out a combo and I'll go with it. Right there, yeah. He has the ability to read a situation without us saying anything. He can read it really well, and then he can also process input and read the situation at the same time. That's kind of like do, patting your head and straight. So most fighters can't do that, um, and it's some, definitely something that's unique to John. He looks pretty happy. Doesn't look like a guy about to enter into a cage fight. Fight day for me, it's exciting. It's one of the most magical things I got. I'm going into this and knowing that I love this every day and that I get to show off my skills to millions of fans across the world. It just allows me to know that. I'm touching their lives with doing something simple and just being myself. Beautiful stuff from John Dotson. When I know John's got a fight, I get excited. Like he's talking about excited, I get excited just because I love to, to do the process with him. I think it's a lot of fun what we do our job. Getting him ready for it and watching him every day spar, I, I, it's a blast. I love it.